Hello, everybody. It's me again. So um, I actually went to Rue 21 today and got more makeup. So I'm going to do a quick thing with this. Because I literally was like, well, tomorrow night I won't be able to do it at all. So, or this weekend at all. So I just want to go ahead and knock it out if possible. All right. My brows are kind of already done from earlier. I did wash my face. But whatever I used yesterday, it's, it's like, I'm stuck. But I, I mean, I have hair. So there is that. So um, I'm actually going to utilize um, this palette here. It's called Free Spirit Face and Body Glitter. Well, here's the thing. I've seen so many of these little glitter palettes in so many stores and stuff. And I never pick them up. Now, I have touched some of them. I was like, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. But, um. I'm going to give it a try, and hopefully it goes well. Y'all going to watch me fail and watch me do it. So I'm going to try to make this as short of a video as I possibly can, so I'm just going to hop right into it. So I have this lipstick, which I just ran into, and I saw it. I thought, oh, that's a pretty kind of brown. I don't really have anything this color. The eyeliner on my last video, if anybody saw it, if they, you know, this, like I said, it's only $3.99 for this, and it's actually really amazing. And I left my other one out the other day, probably two, three days, and I did not know the top was not on it, and I dried it out. It's a big no-no, but I, um, the hubby got me another one today, so look out, boo. Look out for the husband. He be looking out for bae, for bae, for me. So, I mean, I have nothing on my face. Like, I just, like, washed my face just to do this. So, Hedrick, well, hold on, serum first. Duh. Ula, it's one of my men. I've used this, been using actually, I've been using that for years. I remember they was trying to something that's like people with skincare, like you want to rub up because when you drag your skin down and pulling your skin and stuff like that, you actually create lines for yourself, even women of color. Like, I can tell, like, even under my eyes, I can tell where I've been tugging from me doing this all the time for all these years, doing my makeup hardcore every day for so long. So I can actually tell where those problem areas are that I already kind of knew I would have. So try to rub up against your neck if you're adding your moisturizers and things like that. What I really want, I want like a, y'all know how when you get hair done and your hair get pulled back and you feel like it's a free face lift. I love um, when my hair is like tight like that because I feel like I get a free face lift. But anyway, where's my primer? My Bosha primer is mattifying, plus so skincare in one thing. So it's to help with the oiliness on the face. I'm hydrated. I got my serum on as well. Uh, Alright, so I got that on. Skincare is on 10. I'm primed. First thing I normally do, um, I usually do hit those brows first, which it shouldn't take a lot to do because they're already they're all basically already kind of done. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of oomph to it and then leave it there. But today I'm actually gonna switch it up a little bit with the uh, actual the actual uh Hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some pimping in it. I don't know. Depending on what's going on, you know what? I'm gonna wait on these brows. Cause I might do like a really cool, like fun, like colorful brow. Just because I can. Why not? I have different colored brows to work all the time. People just stare at me like, why she got I work as well. I just I mean if I decide I want to look like a daggone rainbow or a snow bunny tomorrow or whatever it is, I'm going to do it. Do whatever I want. I'll be a snow bunny, chocolate bunny, brown bunny, in between bunny. If I want to be a dolphin tomorrow, that's what I want to be. A car. Y'all, I literally like prepped for this this time. I really did. This one lock, though. It's like, hey, mom, say hello to the world. That's right. That's right. Okay. Primer. Here it is. I'm like, where the deck on? Where is my primer? 
so I just took my glasses off and my eyes is like I'm, I hate that I have to wear glasses I hate my eyesight is even this bad kids is a real thing don't sit in front of the TV and your face all it'll you'll pay for it when you get older I can assure you that's one thing I'm learning about a lot of stuff is that you really do pay for it like that is not a joke. That is me not being funny. This sneaks up on you. It really does. Where is my black eyeshadow? But yeah, the palettes I'm going to be using, I might use this today. It depends. I just got this one today, too. I mean, I just keep trying them all because I really love it. I feel like this is a whole lot of... For me personally, I feel like there's gonna be a whole lot of this here because I love having palettes for this. Because it's been hard for me to find stuff for to highlight my brow bone the way I want it to for me. So, Ooh, la, 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 la. where is our? As y'all can see, I'm sitting like on a stack of pillows on a blanket because I like my butt to be cushioned. I'm sitting on the floor. Turn this up. Sit that. Perfect. Where? No, but really though, where is my black eyeshadow? On a serious note, I just had it. Yeah. Noopy, can you please give me? It's a palette in the bathroom. On the left side, it's a little black square. It has red lips on it. It's a makeup for every palette. Could you look inside it and see if there's a black eyeshadow in there? And if it is, could you please bring it to me? Please. I'm actually, if I feel like it tonight, I might do it tomorrow before I go to work. But I'm going to rewash these locks. I'm going to do... Eventually, I'm going to do a tutorial on how the way I did my locks, too, because I get so many of my customers. Lord Jesus asking me how I did my my uh, my locks. And honestly, y'all, if I can do it, anybody can do it because I'm not I'm not somebody that's all, never been good at doing my own hair. I mean, I guess back in the day, I used to just lay some pretty good tracks back in the day. But now I'm just like, oh, y'all, these wigs, I don't know. I can't do it. You put okay. I didn't even need okay. Just the palette. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. So as we all know, I am somebody who likes for my the ends of my brows to be dark. I like light and dark. You can go dark to dark, whatever you want to do. Personally, for me, I always do that. Before we start this video, I always tell everybody. Well, when I go into the video, I always let everybody know. Like, look, hey, some of my color washes out, but I work on what I got. I always say that in every video because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see the comments about it. I've already established that uh, many times over. We're working on that. And I'm literally, I'm literally just using black eyeshadow. All joking aside, this sometimes I use shadow, sometimes I don't, and it, it actually doesn't like really just go away after of my face. I can wear it all day and it doesn't bother me. Ignore that part. There's that jet black. Sometimes it's really hard to find like a real good jet black, true jet black um eyeshadow too. Like when I told, uh, what did I do? 
Oh, like when I was telling uh, Tassie about my locks today, all I kept thinking was maybe I should do a tutorial on my on my locks. <laughs> all I kept thinking was maybe I should, because I actually get that question a lot. And I'm not somebody I don't really know how to do hair. I mean I know how to take care of natural hair. I just learned that and I learned that from a friend of mine and I would not be decent with my hair the way that I am. I just have a horrible habit of cutting about four inch. Every time my hair gets about right here, I don't know what it is with me. I go through this phase where I'm like, and I'm like, then I pout about my hair not growing. What's well, growing? I just keep cutting it. So this time, the locks. I'm just kind of glad I'm not Thank you. doing it. Thank you. You talking about me not cutting it? Thank you. Um. Okay. My precious, and this ain't even half. I have like six of these jars, <laughs> and, and that's not including the ones that's still in packages, still in bags, still in purse. I still still have like brushes inside of my um purses <laughs> that are in my closet. So, brush game, I say I'm pretty strong on. I just I always see a brush, and especially if it's on sale, Kim gonna buy it. I used to get these brushes from Claire's, and they were only $8.99. I do believe, and they were like Bogo something. And honest to God, y'all, it was probably like some of the best presses I had ever had, especially when I first started really getting into makeup for real, for real, and really spending them big dollars on them $40 brushes and all of that jazz. I was like, I need a cheaper alternative because sometimes sisters don't have it. And, I, you know, I give much praise to people who actually um, can afford to even do that. I really want to try with this because my lips, they so dry. I'm dehydrated. I need to drink some water. So I will tell you, Kurt, this um, this lipstick, I will say I love the texture of it. I do love the tech. Oh, I love the texture. Color-wise, Mm, nah, I mean, I'm a. I have mixed feelings about the colors, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. I'm actually really thinking about just doing like a. Mm. You see how I was like, never mind. <laughs> I do that so often. It just bothers me that my lips are like, I'm looking at my lips on the camera. And I'm like, why does it look like that? And I don't like how the way that looks. So we're just going to go ahead and handle this now. Because the first thing I did when I was thinking about this, uh, I was like, do I want to do... I kept saying, I really kind of just want to do a black lipstick. kind of want to do a black lipstick. Huh? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a dark lip with uh, this glitter palette and see how you feel about these. Because I've been dying to try these glitter palettes like that. Like, I had no idea. I've seen them, and then I'm just kind of going like, oh, and this is um, Witches by Kat Mundy, just in case anybody's wondering. It's actually been really hard for me to find a good matte black one. I mean, it's not hard, but it's, I just need to go out and venture out because a lot of the ones I do... Um, do see or have swatched? They they never cover my lips like this has. So I guess I just need to try out some more brands and go from there. But y'all will start seeing me do like ordering like the full face of makeup from brands from time to time and just doing my whole face with it and then telling y'all if I hate the brand, love it. Now I ain't gonna say hate the brand, but um how I felt about it and what my stroke or my personal struggles were. And if you guys want to try it, I would say try, try, try. The cool thing is, the coolest thing is. Are you throwing a toy? Oh, okay, I was gonna say he don't deserve that right now. He really been cutting up. Now what's going on with my dog? I think the summer spring getting into his butt or something. I don't know. Hard headed. It 
if I bothered you for one more thing, <laughs> can you give me like a towel or something so I can clean my brushes in between um, my application? Do we have tape? Do we have scotch tape? Is it weird his jingling? All these years really don't bother me, but it actually bothered me. His jingling. And that ain't even like me. It, I've been hearing that jingle for four years from its collar. And today I'm just like, Mochi, you like stressing me out. <laughs> stressing me out. So I'm just going to start off with a black base because my focus, like I said, just a black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to go in with this. So I really want to know how this works. And y'all, like I said, y'all going to watch me fail. You're going to watch me struggle. You're going to watch me get fallout. You're going to watch me do all types of stuff. Starting in my crease here. That's my crease. That's really bizarre. Like, I don't know what color this glitter because I it's a lot of options. And I said for ten dollars, I can do that. For ten dollars, I know I should be able to do that. Get a couple things today. I just want to when windshield wipe that thing. <laughs> I ain't even worried about how it's not blended right now because I can always go back and do that. I'm just trying to get that black on here right now. Because like I said, I'm trying to make this a short video. I'm, my goal is to make this like a 30. So, yeah, I know I usually these long videos. I'm trying to shorten them. I really am. I am. I might have to, I'm really going to have to learn how to edit on here, and I have no idea. If somebody is good at editing, they want to help me with editing, I'm all here for that. All of that. Like seriously, like uh, all joking aside, like really. Oh, what color shall I do, y'all? I might try to attempt to do two different ones. Um, I will possibly my turtle. I need to. I need to feed my turtle. Okay. I see. I'm like really nervous about this. Let me see if this is a struggle over here. <sighs> yeah, I'm really like, I hope. Let me put some glitter glue on just in case. Just in case. Because I don't know. Not with this kind. I mean, if you feel it, it's just like a cream. I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of nervous about it. But at least, you know, I can try it and tell y'all all about it. And y'all can ask me questions if you would like. I'm here for all of that. I'm open to questions. I'll do my best to answer. I know it's kind of late and it's a Thursday night, but wait, it's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. It's a Thursday night, but I really am trying to be consistent um, with this and what I'm doing because I have a knack for starting stuff like this stuff like stuff like this hobbies or whatever like this and then about three months in i'm like i'm bored with it but i'll pick it up at random probably six months from now a year from now you never know with me it just kind of goes with what what's the flow of how i'm feeling if i'm feeling well for those who know me personally and i want to stress that if i'm feeling well Screw that. I'm going to pack on a lot of color. Pack it on, honey. Because the cool thing about packing it on is you can actually blend it out if it looks like crap. You can always take it off. Makeup remover. That's, that's, that's what I mean, what they make it for. I really actually really do like micellar waters, though. I think I'm saying that right. Micellar waters. Because they tend to um, have skincare properties inside of them, too. Like, Helps mattify, cleans the makeup off, but it does this too. So I do love that that aspect of it. Like it's pretty dope. I mean, the first time I ever used a micellar water, I had trust issues. Like I was like, uh-uh, my face don't feel clean. <laughs> and they were like, 
it's that's what it's supposed to do. It, it cleans your face. I remember one time I was so skeptic about it to the point to where one time I straight up was like, <laughs> I was like, and I'm still gonna wash my face. <laughs> and they were like, okay, girl, okay, whatever. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> so that part, yeah. What color? I don't think I've done a purple glitter. A purple glitter. I don't know, man. Screw it. Let's just do. I've done purple, blue here recently. Let's let's do a red. Why not? Why not? Okay, I'm digging in here. I'm digging in here right now. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Don't get, okay, Kim. Don't get your hopes up too high now. You gotta make sure. Uh -huh. mm. Not bad. Not hey, palette. Not so bad, Noopy. It's huh? Okay. <laughs> Where's my? If anybody asks, they definitely need to utilize it with a glitter glue for sure. Cause. I've seen some of these that are creamy, and now I'm like actually digging into this one. It's like not as creamy as I thought it would be. I'm totally fine with that. I got all this stuff up here, and I'm telling y'all, I keep losing stuff I'm putting down. Oh, that's because I dropped it. Okay. I was like, I know I ain't crazy. I'm going to add a little bit more glitter glue because I see now this is like real, real. Okay. I'm going to do a better cut crease today because I said I would today. Now, whether or not that happens, we won't know. So, I'll continue to stay tuned in. Okay, now I'm just going to go on on here because I figured out the other day I always wonder how high up on myself. I want to go for uh, my application. So with the whole cut crease thing, there is this little stamp. Because I have a problem with my, my personal placement a lot of times. And some days it's like spot on. And then other days I'm like, I decided to give myself a whole nother eye shape today. Oops. <laughs> you know, so I would like to see more. Am I using the cut right brush with this? I don't know. We about to. Uh -uh. Let me use a different kind of brush. I see what's happening here. Okay. But if all this fails, y'all, guess what I got? I got a backup. I just looked over here and just seen. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I had that. Okay. I might need this back up because now I'm like, oh, I'll take it back, y'all. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. It's not going as great as I thought it was going to be. I messed around and put, uh, messed around and ended up getting a little bit of the glitter glue inside the palette. Oops. I'm just going to get a little creative right now. And like I said, y'all get to watch me fail like in real time. Because a lot of people, what they do is they'll go ahead and make their their foundation all pretty and all that jazz sometimes and honestly sometimes I just be like I really want to see like what you really do like don't edit it sometimes I just want to see like real time I want to see what's going on so I can be better let me see what how she doing that let me ask questions let me you know what this reminds me of um those ruby red slippers from the Wizard of Oz they really really do like spot on But I will tell you, I love how the way it's turning out. But like I said before, have a look and see how. Like you can look down sometimes and uh, get your lid to touch the top of your eye to see kind of where you want to go a little bit above that. So when your eyes open and you're blinking and stuff, people can actually see the eye look that you have. You have a little bit of a hoodie lid. 
And another thing that you can also do, another little tidbit, um, you can take special so I'm using red. Like I, it's so many things that you can do with cap on these stuff. It's ridiculous, and it just happens. I'm not gonna sound like the biggest fan, but I'm not. I'm, but I like her products. I'm not gonna lie. But I will be finding some other things to utilize here. I'm just like I said. I'm just getting back, and I'm trying to use what I have right now. I've added a couple things here and there, but at the same time, I'm also like, well, I'm also still kind of in my learning curve right now. So let me just struggle and let me just showcase to people like, this is what I do. So I'm just gonna put a line there to see how where that should stop in for me. Okay, I like how the way that's turning out. So far, so, so far, so far, so good. Um, don't dip your brush back into this palette with um, your with the brush with the primer on it because after I did that it did like something weird. Oops. My bad. My bad. I did that. I did. <laughs> so I made a discovery with this palette just now. So as I was digging inside the pan, I was like, I was getting the glitter. I was like, how deep is this pan, right? How deep is this pan? So I go and and I'm like, I'm going to poke it because it's mine, okay? I poked it. And it's like a cream underneath it, but it has no glitter in it at all. Let's see. Because if that's the primer, then that means this one of them palettes you got to dig into. And honestly... It's a learning curve for me. But like I said, this palette is for uh, face and body. So there is that. So if I happen to just kind of be like, I don't like it on my eyes. I mean, there's a ton of other things that I can utilize and use this for something else if need be, which is not a problem. Like I said, sometimes you get stuff and you're like, and it's that's totally fine, you guys. It is. It happens. I mean, depending on where you're located or whatever you live in, you probably sure to be like, hey, I bought this. I don't like it. I use it, and it's just not. I want my money back. Here's all the stuff that came with it. Here's my receipt. You can do that. I'm sure you can always ask. They can even say yes or no. You can call, whatever. But me, I, I'm one of those people I really don't like to return anything. I'll keep it, and then I'll make you sub it in whatever way I possibly can. But seeing how I, I just kind of stopped using this because something weird's had going on with it, I need to play with that a little bit more for real, for real. Um, I'm actually realizing this, and with it, I luckily had a red glitter already sitting over here. Crazy, crazy bananas. Mm -hmm. All right. I almost feel like with this, I could have. We'll see. Like I said, we'll see. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but it also is not the best. Okay, stop doing what you're doing, Cam. Because next thing you know, it'll be five hours later. Let me get on, hop on down, and get it done. So I can lay down, lay her, lay it down. Maybe lay down. I don't know about going to sleep, but I would definitely lay down. I need to color correct underneath my eyes because, like I said, I have some darkness going on. Like I said, I think I'm a little dehydrated today, which is making me sad because I usually am somebody who really likes some good cold bottle of water. On a serious note. See, we're already at 30 minute mark. Okay, well, we're going to try to keep it within uh, 45 minutes. We'll ask 15 minutes. Because I can do my foundation like, I can do my foundation like really, really fast. Now, where I learned that, I'll never know. And 
what's my lip? We'll see. I just went ahead and popped that black lipstick on her because I all day I've been like, I really want to do a black lipstick. I want to do a black lipstick. Even when I was at work, I said I kind of want to do a black lipstick. I got a little um, inspired by um, my co-worker's eyes today. They were like a really cool jet black. He's so talented, y'all. Like, y'all ain't never. Y'all want to see some talent, some real talent. Because here run circles around me. Look, go oh, look at Hunter Robert's stuff. It's beautiful. Like, I'll trust him in my face. I can't wait for the day he actually get up in my face. I'm going to be like, yes. Because usually with the whole makeup thing, um, I find myself always the one that's doing it. And I'm not, I hardly am the one that's in the chair. Especially like now. And it's kind of like sad because honestly, I love, because I will go to sleep on you and sleep good, honey. And wake up like, oh, beat. Okay. It's just like, it's just really nice. It's very nice. And um, having that done to you. It's like a little spa day. But a lot of times, I mean, like, I just be so tired. And people ask me to do their makeup. And I'm like, I'm so tired. And I don't want to half do your face because I'm tired. And I don't want to mm -mm, mess it up because people... Love talking about people. But she ain't touching my face. Mm -mm. Let me get these skills up. Let me, yeah, I would rather do a practice session with you. Let's do that and see and then go from there. Because another little thing that a lot of people do, they don't like to. Um, I like to practice. I do because I just feel like. I don't, I don't ever want to, like, disappoint anybody. I'm just real critical on my stuff about stuff like that. I just put a little bit of burgundy with that black just to, it's bothering me. Yo, I just got this really dope idea. Okay. I'm going to mark where I want this to be and follow the line. I think what I need to realize is when I'm doing these edges over here, like, oh, now why this side come out perfect? See, I knew it. Now, why I can do that on the other eye? You see what I mean? Got a little point point over here, cutting your soul over here, and then I got round in. I tell you what, maybe if I could wipe that off. It's not good to tuck on your eye, y'all. Good practices. Don't do that like I just did. Like I said, tugging and all that, pulling and all that stuff, if I'm being really serious with you guys, like, you can look. A lot of the older women, you see where they have wrinkles and stuff. You can see where they squint and you can see where they pull and tug and how the way they wash their face. All that little stuff. You can see that on people. Especially when the wrinkles start to come. Because I noticed, I see where mine are. And I was just like, mm, that lady did tell me that day and I see it. So, it is what it is. Can't take, can't take back time now, can I? Okay. And just, I hope everybody's day was great and awesome, productive, easy. I hope your day went by quickly if it was a hard one. If it was a good day, kudos to you. I say today was a pretty I kind of day. I felt better when I came home. In all honesty, you know, we had those days where you're just not feeling it for work. It was definitely one of those days, but you fake it till you make it. So, there's that. There is that. All right. Yes. Come through with this, with the glue, honey. 
Okay, so I can already tell you, like, they're different. I have a bad habit of doing that. And it's okay because, like I said, like, when you're, you're, your brows are cousins. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably going to do a lot of cut, uh, cut crease stuff because that's, like, one thing I need to get back down. I had just got it down, and I was like, oh, she a beast, and then forgot how to do it. So <laughs> and I was like, wait, I do know how to do this. I just have to relearn how to execute, and that's all right. It's just like mad respect for people who actually go through and like go back to school and they ain't been in school in 40 years. I'm actually thinking about doing that and I'm still like debating and going back and forth with myself on that. Because I realize I, I, can, I, can't, I can't work and go, I can't do both. Um, I did and I failed miserably for anybody who went to school with me. I just was too tired. I was perfectly fine until I started working and I, just, I really didn't want to, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta have money to live. Especially how the way they're setting everything up in this world. You ain't got no money. You screwed. So all I'm doing is just packing the glitter on top of that uh, glue like so. Basically, I try to cover every little inch um, when I do this, which is totally fine with me. So just from looking at this, especially from the angle that y'all have, I really want to probably next time I'll do this smaller. You know what I mean? So we'll see. I probably can blend it and make it look all right when I get down that road when I get there. You are my friend. Love of my life. So I'm actually going to use this. I just told you this because it looks like it's got a lot of um, brow stuff inside. Like that highlighter brow. Oh, I love a good highlighter on my brow. Like right here. Oh, it's everything. Cracking open. I love cracking over anything. My dog is really staring at me. We're catching eye contact in the mirror. Hi, Mochi. I'm going to leave him alone because he's really been, he been cutting up, y'all. Really. It's all right, though. Did I? You know what, Kim? Let's see how I feel about this. Because that other palette, it was dope. And I was like, for $3? This is phenomenal. Like, hello. There it is. I was going to say, oh, I got to get up. You know, you just, when you get out from work, and you just sit down and your feet and stuff is just like, thanks. I like to, you know. Oh, people crack me up. Also, another thing that I've definitely noticed is there's a whole lot of people who I feel take makeup a little bit too seriously. Uh, seriously. It should be fun. It should be something that you feel comfortable with wearing. Now, I, I mean, if all else, I will try to give you tips for you. I mean, I'll give you the knowledge that I do have. But, I mean, sometimes there are people who are phenomenal at makeup, and I literally have nothing to do with them because they are so mean and snide to people, and they like to tear people down. And i not built like that. Can't do it. Won't do it. Shan't. Can't. We shan't do it. So, I ain't, I ain't built like that. But like even on here, come on here with that crazy stuff if you want to. Blocked. Goodbye. Got time for that. Nobody got time for that. Hey. Where's my snug brush? Using my uh, the Makeup Forever palette. I'm actually going to use this here. It's like a psycho. Unusual kind of brown kind of color, but it has a slight. Like I said, after I watched that Baychella thing, and everybody, I was like, everybody had pointed out that with at, at the Baychella uh, performance where she had that white towel, and she's, I mean, who can sweat? Well, she, she's just like. Like I say, I don't know, but sweat like that, and actually, um, nothing's on the nothing's on the towel. 
on a white towel. Y'all know when you wash your face and you got makeup on, that towel is very liable to be stained. It ain't gonna ever bounce back, honey. You sure not. So that's why I don't like to buy white towels. I be like, dang, what I do? What this thing? What I do? Oh, it's that makeup I had. I see now. I'm just going next to this with the black right next to where they meet and just packing on that color. That's one thing I do have to re. I see I have to relearn um, my pigment penetration on myself. It's like, oh, it is what it is. Yo. Everybody can't be perfect all the time. And the process like this, it ain't going to always be pretty either. You have to be open to mistakes in front of people. And that's like, I feel like a lot of people just don't do that no more. It's already pre-done. You got people who didn't got to the point to where you got a whole crew doing your makeup now. No. And keep it humane and keep it real. I like to keep it real. Keep it real. I realize now that I should browse. I'm going to do that real quick, like while I have this product rolling. I might change my mind because this is red from this Kevin D and this little brush is like real. I have to grab another brush. Maybe just stain my brush because I'm not getting any on my. Oh, yes. It ain't nothing like a clean brow. Ugh. As we all know, I love a good brow. I always have. I feel like even when I was a kid, I'm thinking back now. I think I always kind of had a thing for brows because even then I used to be like, mm, I feel like your brow too thick. Your brow's like extra thick, girl. You know? Um, go ahead. We'll clean it up. Mm -hmm. I actually don't mind when it's a lot less product because it's a lot less to blend the work. Like I've said before, I know my concealer around my brow is too light. I use it because it's what I got for now. I'm just running my fingers across underneath to kind of help blend it because it's like, I guess my skin might be a little dry today than what it was the other day because this stuff is really sticky more than what it knows. How weird. How weird. What you in there doing? Huh? Curtis, what are you in there doing? Yeah, I'm 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 filming. I see you. So like I said, I use a black eyeshadow on my brow today. Some days I use. I just kind of switch it up. I just kind of grab whatever's around me usually and just kind of go, what am I going to do? Okay. Uh -huh. You know, so there is that. Doesn't look bad, though. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. See, we are to see. I guess I'm just slow about everything, I guess. Because I swear. My stuff ain't ever gonna be under an hour. That should be under an hour when I uh start learn how to edit. Y'all gonna be like, thank God. I'm gonna be like, no, no, right? I feel that. I'm not mad at y'all for that. Cause even when I see long, long, like long little stuff like this, I be kind of like, mm. I just like kind of glide through and do that. And it's. Hello? 
he just went outside. Why that door moving? See? Mm -mm. I ain't going to focus on that. Mm -mm. Don't look at that. Don't pay attention to that. See, I use a little bit more product on this size. It's, it's not always on a thousand percent. Like I told y'all, sometimes my brows be like irking me. Like right now, I'm like, what's up with this left one? This left one. First off, everybody has like this brow that gives them trouble. Here's mine. It's my left one. Well, I don't know if it's your right, but it's my left. Um, run my fingers and use that high, that concealer as a highlighter. Show this. Let's see where it's right now. I hope it's not muddling together because that that does happen sometimes. Ugh. You just wait. I just seen what Juvia Places has these. Uh, uh, oh, no, I got it. No, 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 no. See? Got makeup somewhere else. It wasn't supposed to be. All right. All right. All right. So I'm just going to go in a little bit with this guy here. Because I think my skin is drier today. Like I said, I think I'm dehydrated. And I can tell just by how to wear my makeup. Y'all been watching me use the same concealer. And it's like really sticking to my skin. And that's like a sign as far as I'm concerned. Dry skin is something I don't normally get. So I'm definitely noticing it right now. And I'm just like, that's what we're doing now? Okay. I like to pull back to kind of see um, what it looks like. Back up to this light. It's bright as hell. Yeah. There we go. Get on back behind them. As a matter of fact, man, I just cut them holes off. Oh, gosh. Okay. That, that looks better. See, I didn't realize I was sliding off my little pillow thing I made down here. That looks way better. Okay. And like I said, y'all, my brows change. Um, I kind of overall do the same thing. Like I really, I usually do a cut in my left brow because that's the brow I always be like. <laughs> so I kind of like it to be there. I don't know. I've always like even when I was younger, I used to always be. I used to always love that cut. Like. Yes. Look how good that looks. Those brows. Sis, love. <laughs> brows is just something I don't have a problem with now. I shut up. I gotta get my game back up. Because this is sad. And it got so sad. And I'm just over here like, can I you let yourself get this bad? Girl, I don't know. When I find out, I will let you know. So somewhere on down line, I'll wipe something out for unclint this really pretty clean line I just had. How? I'll never know. I really don't know. It might have did it when I was uh, wiping that stuff off. Every kiss begins with K. Me. Now I'm playing. Yes, pack it on, girl. Pack it on. I got this glitter. You know what? I'm not going to stress about that because if I do that, we'll be on this video for like two and a half hours. And we're definitely not doing that tonight because sis is actually a little tired. And I actually... I was like, let me get my butt up and do this because I really know that if I don't, y'all will be like, well, she was doing videos and then she just stopped all of a sudden. Like I said, I'm just going back next to that with that black to try to clean up some stuff because somehow I managed somewhere in here to screw some stuff up right over here on this left eye. This right eye looks so clean. It looks nice over here on this side, but everything that ain't glitter ain't gold over here. I 
Do I want that to go over that far, y'all? Do I want to? I don't think I do. So, like, if I ever do something like that, I just wipe the tail off, basically. Wipe the tail off. Uh, wipe it off. You can do makeup remover. You can use a cute, I mean, a Q-tip. Dip it in there and do designated spots, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to smoke out this under eye a little bit more. As a matter of fact, where is that cream that I told y'all? I think that's on my last video. Or if you haven't seen it, um, it's a cream by OCC. And you can literally use these for whatever you want. Lips, eyes, whatever. And I totally forgot I had them. And they are extreme. Like, if they're pink. Pigment is an understatement. Like, oh, I forgot this dang on camera. Oh, it's red. In real life, it's like red, red. Well, okay, you guys. I've said it a hundred times. Sometimes it just doesn't show up. And I get a little sad about it every time. And I do that because I already know I've done this a couple times and I'm still over here like, it's still not showing up. Duh, Kim. So I'm actually just going to use red. I've never done this before and I think it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Looks pretty dope. That same um, red uh, thing that I'm using. It's also a blush. It's a lipstick. It's a, it's a cream eyeshadow. It's everything. See how pigmented that is? Like, you got to lightly, lightly, lightly. Hey, y'all. Hey. I have a blush. So. Sorry. In all honesty, um, I think I said in the last video, blush had to grow on me. Because I, when I thought I was, I was like, that ain't made for me, you know. But... I found things that I like that work for me. I like a very subtle blush. Some people really like it to pop. I don't. Uh, a lot of days I don't even wear one. I just don't wear one. I just like to look real natural like I got some good skin. People say I got good skin. You don't live with this skin every day. I know my, I know my struggles with my skin. I ain't going to sit here in front. Not, I struggle with it. It always looks super textured to me. I always feel like I'm missing something or it just always looks textured. And the weirdest thing, though, y'all, if anybody knows my hometown where I'm from, every time I go home, my um, strangest, the strangest thing, my face looks weird, weird when I go home. Like, I be mean, like, what is my skin doing? Like, you ain't done this in... Like it's the air. I don't know what it is, but I'd I be like, I already know what's going to happen when I go home. I'm going to be looking at my face the whole time I'm there. Like, I'm paranoid. I don't want to see nobody. Skin's freaking out. Like, it's like, what's what's this hair? I'm like, you was right, so you better get together. Okay. Mm, what was I looking for? That powder. Ha, I didn't have to look too hard for that one. Yay. Progress. Just using this. I'm, I'm going to be sad when I run out of this because this is the only powder foundation that I found that uh, that doesn't make me look like a weird color. Like when I first saw it, I was like, oh, this is light. Uh-uh. I was just playing with it and I put it on and I was like, it got darker on my skin. What kind of sorcery is this? It's like sorcery. And then they pulled it off the shelves. And I was like, so who complaining about it being too dark? Because uh, me, I'm liking that it's dark. But, you know, everything ain't for everybody. And I would say that a hundred times. Yeah, let me see something real quick. Mm hmm. Oh, 
I need a better camera. Period. Period. So I'm gonna try this lipstick again because I was like, uh, it's not that I don't like the color because when I actually swatch it on my hand, you can't even really see it. Look at this. You cannot see that on me. Well, I mean, you can see it, but it's not like, oh, it's super noticeable. No, nope, it's not. So I was like, oh, that'd be it. And then I was like, uh, Kim, you have to remember your, your hands have always been super lighter than your face. So I'm going to go in with that. Yes. Okay. Now, now, yes, this is nice. I like that. I like that a lot. So not so great by itself on me, but probably on another complexion, this would be a great nude for you. It's four ninety nine, and it's from um, Rue. It's called Skinny Lippin, and it's in shade. There's no name. There's no name. But anyway, this is what it looks like. If y'all can see that. But yeah, I say it's a pretty good deal. I like how the way that turned out on my lips. All right, all right, all right. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Liner. The liner that I just got. But I just wind and pine that it dried out. And my baby did get my baby did give me another one. Thank you, baby. Oh, also, one thing I learned about the liners from there, from um, Rue, is when you're doing them, if you feel like they're a little dry and not saturated, if you push it down, it just starts to load up the brush for you. Don't get too crazy now. You might break the tip, but it's, it's, it's actually really, like, waterproof. When I tell y'all the last time I did this on my hand, I was like, and it, you know, and I even, like, took some wipes to it, and I was like, what kind of sorcery is this? Well, I'm not really upset about it, but if I decide... I don't want to wear a cat eye. I'm going to have to wait a couple of days, basically. Basically. I'm going to have to wait some days, honey. Some days my cat eye is impeccable, but today ain't one of them. It's all right, though. Like I said, y'all will watch me fail, grow, do better, look stupid, say dumb stuff, probably make somebody angry somewhere if anybody watching it. And I'm cool with that. I just try to stay positive and talk to y'all while I do this. And maybe... If I get really good at this, I can just, like, do my makeup and not really say anything and then go back and do a voiceover and make it all professional and cool looking. But ultimately, y'all still going to see me fail in front of y'all. Try stuff and go, oh, I hate this. This looks like this. It looks bad. Looks good. Looks worse. Whatever. I'm going to go ahead and, and stuff on some more black in this corner. Mm -hmm. 
um, me and a friend of mine was talking about our cameras on our um, laptops or phones or whatever. And we were both literally like, first of all, what is this on my ankle? The heck? Sorry. <laughs> and all I kept thinking in my little brain was, so it ain't just me. Thank you. But for me, I was like, it's just me because I feel like I look at people's stuff all the time on the internet. And I'm trying to figure out why mine don't look like that. Or, you know, and I have to realize some of them probably been saving up and going ahead and getting their cameras and stuff forever, though. Highlight those areas mm, with the light. You want to try to hit the areas where the light touch if you're wondering, like, where it should be. If y'all really want me to be honest with you, I actually really struggled with. Um, highlighter application because like I said I was that girl that wanted just a good foundation maybe a liner or a gloss done we good we in there we good we done you know and as I've gotten older and learned a lot more now I'm like oh no 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 I want my stuff to be extra I want you to see it um especially when I really figured out my placement on myself you know that part for me was everything more or less because I struggled with my placement and then I couldn't understand when other people would do my um my highlight I was like what did you do <laughs> I found out that I was just afraid of how much to apply like I would put on a, so little people was like I can't see it and I'm like but I can see it and I'm like but I can't see it and I'll be like but I can see it on me you know and as time progressed see how I just run my finger down the bridge of my nose that's something I do. Now I'll take these two fingers here. Look how easy that was. So light highlights, not too crazy. Um, but another thing I will always do is I will look outside of this camera and look at this mirror that I have right here that I sit on my screen here and see um, if it's a little bit too much. Cause y'all in person, camera oh gosh in person to this light stripping maybe i need a dimmer light i don't know we shall see where the wind takes us i swear i feel like some type of lighting or something i didn't use that i used this time i didn't use last time let's see as i said before you guys i like to use a little Hello, right hell on me. Even though I'm already dark skin, I still like to add a slight oomph. You have a lot of different ways to do that. If you can find you a good burgundy, like when we be dark, burgundy is actually wear really well. It'll shadow you without making you feel like you're engulfing yourself in more darkness. You know, some people are dark and you see them add more darkness. They're like, your whole face is in dark. This is ridiculously pretty. I wish y'all could see the view I have from my actual, like, my actual mirror. Like, I'm looking at myself, looking at I'm like, two different people. <laughs> like, over here, I'm like, ooh, maybe you need to die some of this down. And over here, I'm like, I can't see it. Add more. That's why, like, when I'm done, I like to go into my bathroom and really look and see, like, what that looks like on me. Because ultimately, what it boils down to is... You'll know. I'm going to end up getting the HD camera and some stuff, and then I end up hating it. Like, absolutely hating Because I'm like, you can see all the grittiness that I be trying to run away from. Which is very, very plausible fooling with me. There we go. That's the sharp edge I was looking for. Yes. But yeah, what I don't like is I literally do I actually do this just for fun and I just I have this sneaking gut so it's me like hey I make her look bad and then it Don't watch me. Don't watch me. I'm totally fine with that. My husband is really in there, like, tripping. I don't know what's going on with him. I'm going to need him. He really, you hear him? 
I don't always do my cupid's bow. I don't always do my cupid's bow. I always, always kind of wish I had a more prominent, like a slight, a little bit more of a indention here. Some people illusion and do that, and I'm not doing that because you can still see it. I feel that you like a as F as an S S F X master. See, like now I'm looking over here in this mirror and I'm like, let me blend this out. You can't even see it. I have on so much highlighter right now. I done lost my mind. That's okay though. Because I'm I'm gonna see it. I might carry out to my um my other mirror with me because I'm just telling y'all it don't look like what this screen is saying on this video. Actually, what do I like to do sometimes? Like I've said before, I do like to go right next to it sometimes and just a little dark, just a little bit of dark. And for the corners of my ass, I mean, my ass, eyes, <laughs> I, I, like I said, I will always probably end up doing a dash <laughs> of gold or something like that in my corners always i love that look it's just something that i've always been really really it always appeals to me i don't care who you are old young shy bashful don't like a lot but i'm telling you right now with this you're gonna be like mm. Mm. <laughs> Dang it, I'm over here really wasting stuff. It's okay though. Now I need to do this left brow because I realized I never did this left brow with the um the this part. So let me finish that out. I'm just using this kind of orange and tan color and mixing them together. And just adding it underneath it. Because like I said, I'll, it's it's like a there's this color inside of um my subculture palette that gives me life. But shoot, this giving me life too, honey. Ooh. That's not bad at all. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. I love when things go the way that it should. It's nice when things go the way that you expect it to. I don't really like surprises unless I'm getting surprised with food. I'm just going in. I'm adding in my transition shade, which I should have did initially. But if all this fills, you can go back in and do that. You know what I mean? I'm just blending it out quite a bit because, like I said, looking in this mirror, I'm like, ooh, I went hard, a little hardcore today. Just a little bit. It doesn't look bad. I love I love how to wake. Dang on it. Top the came out. I'm about to. Can't be losing my thrush. I told you I is broken, and I like kind of see. Can I get y'all to see what I what I have going on so far? Y'all like my Dragon Ball Z shirt? Yes, I am an anime lover. It's kind of a thing. What you staring at, Mochi? You've been having an attitude problem. Get away from me! I don't even want to deal with you right now at all. Not even a little bit. Thank you for understanding my English. Thank you. Okay, now we're at the end of the video. Because, like, I tell you, I try, I'm trying to keep this one in an hour. That is, like, a goal of mine. But I'm telling you, I guess I'm just a... Because if I wasn't talking to y'all or, like, this stuff, I'd do my makeup in, like, 10 minutes. Like, 10 minutes. But I also don't be doing a lot of this stuff, like, for work either, so... Every blue moon, like if like we have an event for the store or something like that, I'll do that. But I used to do this all the time, and I just was like, ah, it's time for grass. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and now I'm like, okay, get it back in there. Now I understand. I used to wonder, um, how you make makeup artists and all this have on something natural? I can kind of understand if you're always beating, slaying, beating, slaying, slaying, and beating. 
I can understand you yourself wanting to break for yourself, especially for your skincare. Because I definitely go to intervals now. Since I'm not as full in the morning, it's not required for me to wear a full, or required to wear a full face of makeup. Um, you know, my skin, I felt like my skin was like, oh, I can find myself right now. Not that I wasn't taken care of, because a lot of makeup I wore has skincare in it. It's just that I took a break and I just was stressed. And my mom was just, like, the first time I, like, about two weeks after I stopped working there, my mom was like, you already look like you're well rested. So I'm actually going to go and see if I can get y'all a better picture of my face right now. I think I hurt my knee at work, y'all, on a serious note at some point. So now this is the finished look. No, that's right. If I move my camera back, it looks better. That's what it is. I had to remember that. Okay, you guys. What you think? So I used the glitter out of this hair Rue 21 palette. Um, like I said, I made a weird discovery. <laughs> like after I was like, guys, I've do not dip the same brush that you used for um, the glitter glue back into that palette. As soon as I did that, it like changed or something. So that's my fault. <laughs> not Route 21's fault. So that much I can definitely tell you with the quickness, with the, with the full on honesty on that. Okay. I want y'all to see my makeup. I wonder if I sit up a little bit. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> I don't have to see that. <sighs> this camera kills me because I'd be so proud of my work when it when it looks really well, and then I get so frustrated when I look at this video and I'm like, y'all don't think my my makeup is basic as hell. But I'm telling y'all, I feel like I got to do extra, extra makeup just for the camera, just so y'all can see it. But in real life, y'all be like, you look like a daggone clown. So, but if 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 I have to start doing that just for the videos, um, I will finish my looks, make it all extra so y'all can see it really well on here. And then... Da -da -da -da. I use this from, okay, anyway, I use this palette from Rue. use it on my eyes. I use the red. Like I said, there's like a top coat of glitter, and then there's like a pomade underneath. And I definitely have had, uh, hi, Selena. Girl, I got you if you need advice. Um, I worked at a Sephora for five and a half years, and I was a manager there also. And I like, a year break, my year break from there, and I just started getting back into my makeup. Oh, does she love to play in makeup too? Tummy button. Yeah, I don't know what a tummy button is. I feel like. Okay, anyway. Yes, um, that's what I got so far. Um, just did a quick late night beat just because. Oh, okay. How to clean a really button. Uh. I don't have any kids. I have a dog. <laughs> Let's see. But yeah, that's the that's the look I came up with. I will post um, pictures um, as per usual. I'll also post it on my Facebook because I asked most. I actually utilize my Facebook more than any other form of social media. As I've said, like with the neck, you guys, cut it out. Um, it's okay for you wanting your face and neck to match. That's fine. I personally 
do not like to have a ring on my clothing because I can't. This is hormonal. Okay. When you have PCOS and things like that and you're dealing with, um, when you're dealing with uh, hormonal issues that cause that to happen, like my doctor told me that I was like, what? Eye opener. So just know that um, sometimes you don't want to make assumptions when you're looking at women because I kind of like had to take some stuff back that I've said about people's necks not matching and things like that. And I had to realize like, oh, I'm wrong. So um, just don't make an assumption. You know, this is just me giving a bit of, advice that I've experienced and learned and grew from myself so uh you know so I really really um yeah yeah <laughs> just know because I think I like saw something the other day somebody said something about a neck and makeup and I was like honestly now that I know better I'm here to tell you like it's okay I blend it down a little bit but I try to keep it as far like if I got on like a cold shoulder oh be covering but when i have on tees like you know because like i said i'm a big dragon ball well, anime fan in general um i have so many anime shirts you can never have enough yes yes sorry so um yes you guys i'm gonna what's my phone you know i gotta do the phone thing and then I'm going to post on social media because I have figured out that I can post on social media. But while I'm posting, it still films me. I'm so glad that I learned that before I said something or did something that was going to be extremely em embarrassing. But as far as Selena, as far as you uh, with your six-year-old daughter about her belly button, I have no kids. And soap and water might help with that. So there's that and I'm here to tell you right now okay so what else do I have take this picture I want y'all to see if I can get a, a, a video so y'all can actually see it in real time as I've said before uh, do y'all see how much more pigmented that is it's still not doing it any justice but it's not these in persons, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I get it? I wonder. Y'all can see that. But yes, you can kind of see it a lot better on this camera. Huh. Wait a minute. Did I find the perfect light? Oh. Mm. Okay. You can kind of see it a little bit better. So, y'all, when y'all doing these makeup, if anything, my neck, look at that. Look at that. But I will say, um, so I'm going to take some pictures and wait a minute, what's happening? Whatever I'm doing with my phone, it literally makes, what is that? Oh, that's kind of cute. What happens if I do that? Do I need to put like a little? But anyway, you guys, this is what I have. I forgot if y'all have any questions about makeup or like anything I discussed in the video. Don't have kids. Don't have the answers for that. But um, I got y'all on other stuff, like a little stuff that I can help you with skincare, skincare, makeup, how to apply makeup, how to take off makeup the proper way. Um, suggestions for different skin types, all that stuff. I can definitely answer um, questions on here for you. If I don't know, if I need to, I will actually go look it up or refresh myself and I will post it on the next video and be like, correct myself. I said something wrong in my last video. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to attempt to take some pictures. I always take a picture of my video face on here. I really like to do that because it gives it a whole different... Sunday 
So now I'm going to post this onto my Facebook, like I always do. And y'all have a good night. Um, like I said, my goal is to try to get my videos to be about 30 to 45 minutes. After I learn how to um, edit, I will be able to do that and cut out a lot of the nonsense of me just babbling and running on or me just rambling. I can edit that out. So that way, everything's awesome. All right, y'all have a great night. Peace. Route 21 makeup. Y'all better stop sleeping on these, these stores makeup. Because here's the thing. I'm going to just say this real fast. Like, you really, really um, try it. And one thing I found out about the Palace of Rue, um, you can't be all light tapping in there with the, with the, um, with this, I'm sorry. I just wanted to say this real because I was like, I don't know if I addressed this that I realized about this particular palette, which is called the Boss Babe palette. Um, like at first I was like, why this color ain't popping up on here like it should, right? So after I went back in, I was like, maybe I'm not doing it hard enough, and that's exactly what it was. Like I literally went in and I was like, and I was like. Now my brush is up. Oh, what's that hair? It's a hair, sorry. Um, my hair. Yeah, it's mine. So um, after I went back in there and I really loaded on my brush. <sighs> it's not pigmented. But, um, well, it's not. No, I'm not saying this isn't pigmented. What I'm trying to say is this is my camera washing everything out. But, uh, yeah, y'all. Next time I'll do a tutorial with um, some other colors. Um, my what I really want to do my next purchase I really want to get some Juvia's Place palettes and Juvia Place blush, Juvia Place foundation, and I want to do a tutorial with that. Well, I guess it's a tutorial just kind of talk to you guys and y'all can watch me um, fail or do well and be happy with my stuff. Like by right now, I'm really happy with the execution of it. Um, looks phenomenal i just have to figure out i'm gonna look into how much um web camera costs but y'all have a good night bye well hold on let me send this to my other page first because i don't figure it out that it still films while i'm doing that i had no idea and also i really don't know um hold on so that was fun. That was fun. Red glitter. Maybe Rizzo the Oz make up another day. That's what I put on my Facebook. Because actually that red glitter does look like those ruby red um, shoes I want to go. There's no place like home. So I might really just um, I might really just do a look with just like the green. Like I'm going to start doing like full face dot. Like y'all going to see me looking like Ursula. Y'all have a good night. Ended.